Hey there, Chris from the Old Man Cycling Show with our next episode. I got my riding buddy Greg with me today, and uh, we're going to be doing a little project. We're going to be putting some rocker plates. I'm sure you can see that, but we're, we're building rocker plates for uh, use for the indoor trainers. Uh, a bunch of us from the Westchester Cycling Club got together and ordered uh, boards and all the kits and everything to put them together. So um, we're going to get to it. We have this lovely instruction guide to figure out what we're doing, and we don't have any idea. So we'll just put it, let it roll and see how they turn out. So let's get on with it. Okay, so we have the holders for the rod. There's a rod that's going to run through here. So this is this is the top of the bottom board, if that makes sense. So it's bolted up through underneath. You can see the bolts on here. There's four guides that the that this is the bottom. The rod's going to come through. Then the top plate will have springs in here that's going to allow the forward and back motion. And then it'll rock side to side. So we've got the bo one bottom board done. Um, little trick that a friend of ours taught us or told us to do was we actually took you can see there's like a wax on here we took a, a toilet sealing ring of wax this thing here you know that's what you would seal a toilet to your floor with and took this wax put it around all the bolts so that sweat won't go down into holes especially for someone like me that has a serious perspiration issue so this is going to keep the wood from from rotting where uh, you know, the, the bolts are going through. So now we're going to figure out what we're going to do with the top plates and get work on that. Okay, so this is the bottom of the top plate. And you can see these these have actual bearings in there that the rod's going to slide on. Uh, and then there will be springs loaded in there too. And you had to see, we had to put placers in here to get it the right height so it has enough movement this way. So there's four of these plates. The rod will slide through. Um, and we're gonna put the springs in, so I guess we'll work on that now. So you can see underneath the two boards, you have the top board and the bottom board. The spring's gonna go between these two, this is the bottom board with the grommet. The spring's gonna go there and to between this one. This one rolls as well as it's gonna go back and forth. And then the spring's gonna go between these two. Greg's gonna take the rod with the mallet and slide it through the holes there. It's gonna need a little persuasion. So we've got our handy dandy persuader tool. And Greg, I don't want you taking any running starts when you do this, okay? And uh, we're gonna see how it goes. So let's roll. I'll just. Okay, so this was definitely a two-man job, but you can see how the, the grommet is on the bottom. This is the bottom board. This is the bearing in there that's gonna roll side to side. The spring's gonna go forward and back. And you can see, same thing here. So the springs go between the middle two bottom plate fixtures. It took us a while to figure it out. We got to figure it out. Um, so now what we have to do is these guys, we lock the bar to these. So the bar is going to be locked in position to all the bottom plate things. There's little tighteners there. And then uh, the last step is uh, we're going to put some balls in and inflate it. But we're getting close. It took us a while to figure it out, but it's pretty cool. All right. Okay, here's, here's the finished product. It's got the balls underneath, so that, that's going to give you this side to side. It's got the springs loaded to go up and back. You can see the balls fit in that hole, so they'll roll back and forth with it. Uh, really turned out well. Uh, you know, great job, Greg, on the finishing. This one took us about, what, probably two hours to build because we were figuring it out as we go. So now that we know, it should go a lot smoother. But uh, I'm really impressed. I think it looks great. I can't wait to try it. So uh, wanting to make sure that... Uh, I had everything set up right. I was uh, going back over my notes last night and happened to notice that these black grommets on both sides here, hopefully you can see them if I point to it here, is against the stationary rail. Where these really need to be is they need to be on this piece to protect the bearing inside there. So uh, unfortunately, that means I've got to take the rod out and reset these two pieces. No big deal. I mean, you know, I'd, I'd rather do it right and let you know, but uh, these these really need to be on this side to protect the bearings that are inside the linear bearings. Um, uh, so, you know, this spring against this hard thing is not going to do any damage. So I'm going to reset this up and I'll show you what I mean once I have it reset up. I got to do a little work to slide the bar back this way um, and then I'll show you how it should look when it's properly uh, positioned. So now you can see I have the grommet actually against the linear bearing and the spring is right against the stanchion. Same thing on this side. 
I tried to fit the grommet inside the linear bearing. It's too big. So uh, I think just the natural pressure of the spring is going to hold it there. Again, the spring's against this side. So that's the way it should be properly aligned. It was wrong the first time. Like I said, I wanted to make sure I corrected the video so everybody could see what was going on. Uh, I'm going to go back to do what I did before. I'm going to compress this spring, zip tie it, uh, put the board on from the top, and then we should be good to go. So again, uh, make sure you have this ground in here because what will happen is the spring will get inside there and tear that bearing apart. It's just plastic, and if that spring hooks on it, uh, it, will, it will rip it apart. So that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, let me finish assembling and uh, I'm gonna take a first try on it. Okay, so you can now see that the spring is resting against the, the bolt, the, I mean the plate to hold the bottom rod and the grommet is against the linear bearing. Same on this side. Again, I couldn't get the linear bearings to sit in, but I believe that that's protection enough. Although this back one looks a little better. Still have the good front and back motion, nice and smooth, not going to eat into the bearings. Uh, so everything seems to be set up pretty good. Um, and that's that. So I'm going to get the balls and uh, I'll, I'll post uh, this video. Again, if you like it, uh, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions about the build, let me know. I'll put some, de some details in the description. Uh, oh, and one last thing, I did find a washer that was missing up here on this front one, so I did, I did replace that. I did put the washer in, so all washers are in place, everything's tightened down, get the balls in here, and I'm going to take it for a ride later. Alrighty, so this is Chris from the Old Man Cycling Show, hope you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel, like the video, click on the bell notification so you get new ones, and peace.